Okay, so first up, in terms of uh, checking on progress report for uh, grades and assignments that are out there, outstanding, uh, I was catching up on the reading reflection grading this morning. I uh, just want to remind you that uh, Tuesday was the deadline for Chapter 10. Uh, you still have a, a, a week beyond the deadline to get it in for half credit. Uh, and then next week is our last reading reflection for Chapter 13, okay, which if you want to get a full two points for that, um, you will uh, need to get that in by Tuesday. Uh, I did for the artist statements, since I was so far behind on that, there were a handful of you that handed them in uh, late. And uh, because I was late on grading, I went ahead and gave people full credit for them, okay? So that will help out some of you. Um, but for Chapter 10, I felt like it was this week, and I graded it this week, so therefore uh, it, the, the, the deadline stands, basically. But you still can hand it in up to a week late for half credit, okay? That's when it disappears from Blackboard, okay? Uh, don't forget Chapter 13 next week, so you have to hand it in late, okay? Uh, for Presentation 3, I'm working through the grading rubric on those. Um, B, uh, I... With all the other things I'm trying to uh, juggle for this class, I just didn't finish uh, up with those, and I don't want to hand them back until they're all finished. Um, I will say my overall um, my overall feedback to you guys is that they, these were the best presentations uh, of the three, which I guess should be expected, right? You're, you're doing the same type of presentation multiple times, so it should get better uh, with each iteration of it. So uh, I think that's that's clear that everybody's getting better at doing these, these style of presentations um, uh, through these multiple iterations. Uh, I do, I have put up the <coughs> um, the video from Tuesday, okay, and, and as with the first two presentations, I'm going to go ahead and make it um, uh, extra credit if you do a, a written reflection uh, by watching your group's presentation and writing reflection and sending it to me via email. Um, that was uh, extra credit that you can earn, um, which I believe is three points, which uh, could help cancel out an absence, could help cancel out one and a half missed reading reflections, could help cancel out a number of things. So uh, still, the, the offer still stands for three points of extra credit for writing a written reflection on your presentation. And uh, it's really a kind of a self-critique of what you could have done better as a group if you were giving a, another presentation, OK? Um, what you did well, but also what you would have fixed had you had more time or had you worked it out uh, more in advance, those sorts of things, OK? So uh, with that said, I, I should be able to finish up the grading. Uh, yeah, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to finish up the grading for Tuesday. In fact, I hopefully finish up before the weekend because I've got other grading that lo is looming on the horizon next week, so I want this one done and in the books, okay? Um, I'll just see you guys next on Tuesday. Um, if I think about it and I get it done and I have enough time, I might scan it and email those your rubrics so that it's it's you've got it and you, you can kind of move forward from there uh, and maybe even have that in mind as you're writing a written reflection. Okay, so machine listening. We're supposed to be talking about machine listening, right? That's what our final project is, OK? Um, that's what's on the syllabus. That's what the plan was for uh, project uh, four. Uh, but then Tuesday, this happened. Uh, if you hadn't been paying attention, uh, Max 7 was released on Tuesday while you were giving your presentations in here. Uh, Cycling 74 was busy uh, uh, showing the results of months and months and months of work uh, that they've been working toward. Uh, I, I will go on record. I was not one of the beta testers on this this version, uh, so I was just like a kid in a candy store. Christmas came early, downloaded it yesterday, and was playing around with it. It is quite nice. Some of the new features, uh, and so I kind of want to rethink Project Four and what we do for Project Four because this is an opportunity to seize a the, uh, the this this moment that's happening. You know, it's like current events, right? I don't know what let's, we we recently. Maybe I'll, I'll relate this to some of my experience. I, we recently celebrated, what, the 25th anniversary of the Berlin Wall falling? OK. I was in world history in seventh grade, the year the Berlin Wall fell. Uh, and I had a good enough world history teacher to just say, well, we're just scrapping the textbook. We're just going to study what's going on, current events, right? Because everything in the textbook was out of date because of the events were happening so rapidly when the Berlin Wall fell. But anyway, uh, not that Max 7 could ever uh, reach the importance of 
uh, the Berlin Wall falling because that, that affected millions of lives. But there are plenty of computer musicians who are affected by the release of Mac 7. Uh, and I want to take this as an opportunity. So to justify this, I had to go back to the syllabus and think through what our learning objectives were for this course. Okay, uh, And I honed in on what I stated as the learning objectives for the course. The learning objectives for this course are not to learn about synthesis, processing, algorithmic composition, and machine listening. The, Learning outcomes for this course, according to the syllabus, are to research, comprehend, and implement technical matters, okay, and to be able to communicate the details of your of your work via multiple presentations, one of which is multimedia. Now, I, I said very, very long ago that the final presentation was going to include the component of actually producing a video about your project, okay. Um, I think I want to do that uh, with this, but shift the emphasis a little bit away from machine listening and toward this new uh, software that's out there, Max 7. Uh, and let's explore some of the new features, some of the new tools that are at our disposal, uh, and create some cool things. Uh, and that's going to require us still to research, comprehend, comprehend, and implement those things, yes, OK? Uh, but it shifts it away from machine listening, and although you could still do a machine listening task if, that, if you so choose, OK? Um, but the, the research is going to be a little bit more on the fly because uh, unlike in past topics where people have done research and written books and it's in the library and you can go look these up, this is something that came out Tuesday. So there are no books in the library. There are no research papers that have been published at academic conferences. This is, this is current stuff, right? Uh, we have what Cycling 74 has provided us in terms of documentation. Uh, but hopefully we can start to move beyond that and show what uh, can be done with this tool on the fly. Okay, does this sound interesting to you guys, or does it sound like I'm I'm like totally out in space? Okay, I'm seeing one head nod. I'd like a little bit more. What? Won't hurt. Won't hurt. Okay. <clears throat> um, so my proposal is okay. Rather than doing group projects, okay. Each person would be responsible for developing a five-minute video that shows some unique feature of Max 7 or some, some project that you develop using Max 7 that showcases what you can do with Max 7. I don't know that, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure where the line is going to be of like, are you relying on new features of Max 7 or are you just showcasing what you can do with, what you could have done with Max anyway. Uh, I don't know. That's, I think, to be determined, okay? Uh, what I think I'd like to do is, uh, instead of producing three videos or two videos, let's produce one, two, 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 wait, we've got seven of you guys and me. I'd, I'd like to do one of these myself as well um, and kind of work through this. And each person has a unique topic, though, okay, which means uh, where the group, uh, the group dynamic is going to come into play is that we need to be conversing about what each person's topic is along the way, okay? We need to be showing what we're working on so that uh, Monica's project doesn't end up being the same as Eric's project at the end of the day, okay? Um, so that's going to be kind of uh, to, to be defer determined, but I think it, we could cover some interesting aspects of this new uh, piece of software uh, over the course of the next couple weeks, okay? Um, to make it worth your while, to sweeten the pot, to help some of you that uh, are, are looking for ways to increase your grade in this class, okay? And because I turned it from a a uh, group project to an individual project, I'm going to make it a 25-point assignment instead of a 20-point assignment, okay? Which means that uh, you could boost your grade by a whole half a letter, basically, okay? Uh, which will help some of you get to where you want to be with your grade in this class, yes? Okay? Um, but I'm making this offer to everyone, okay, of working in, on individual uh, videos uh, that will showcase this. Uh, we can work through the dynamics of how to do this with videos. I, I know I use this ScreenFlow software and I have it on my machine. It's not on these lab machines, although we could do things like download demos. We could also just use the included QuickTime uh, recording support, okay, um, and edit videos together to produce these things. And we, I think we also, in addition to talking through topics to make sure there's no overlap, we might want to talk about format so that these... Uh, this comes across as a cons as a consistent video series that we've put out there into the world. I don't know. Maybe that's something we, we should discuss, right? Um, but this is kind of what I'm imagining. Okay, is this everybody okay with this? Yes, yes. 
Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm making sure. Okay. If, if you if you have a problem with it, please speak up because this is me rewriting the syllabus, which technically I need your I I, I feel bound to get your consent to rewrite the syllabus. Okay. So I don't want to do this without your uh, your input. Okay. Um, if you're too, I don't know. I'm, can I assume? I don't, do we need to do like a secret ballot thing or anything like that, or does everybody feel comfortable? I approve. I approve. You approve. Okay. <laughs> Are there any? Uh, well, uh, let's see. Other, maybe not. It's maybe it's not uh, disapproval. But are there any concerns that you guys have about switching to this format that you can see? The immediate concern I have is that we, we throw out the rubric. Okay, so we don't know what the rubric is for these twenty-five points. But we're talking about twenty. I, I I'm conceding that that is a little scary because we're throwing out the rubric we've been working with for ten weeks, and uh, that's why I'm making it a twenty-five point assignment rather than a twenty-point assignment. Yeah. Mm. I think at the end of the day, you need a, uh, well, so I'll elaborate, a five-minute video. It needs to be a 720p video that you upload to YouTube and you send me the link at the end of the day, okay? Um, how you get there, we'll, we'll work through that together, basically. Because like I said, I think it'd be good to have a conversation as far as whether we want to present this as a consistent, like, video series that people could watch, you know, uh, uh, and, and I am Adam. I, I, for me, it's non-negotiable that it ends up on YouTube or some public format, basically where people, where, where the world can watch this thing. Okay, um, and that's where we also want to keep each other accountable for quality control because we want to make sure that it's all of a consistent quality. Okay, um, we can. That's that's I think where the group project comes into play. Whereas the 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 feature, the topic that you're implementing is something individual that you can kind of investigate on your own. Does that make sense? Um, so it, it is, even though it's individual projects, there still is a group component because we're going to kind of work together through for producing this. Okay. Um, if there are no, if there's no dissent, I realize Colby's not here, but uh, I'm hoping he'll be in favor of this. And if not, the majority of the group class is in favor of this. Yeah, Chris. I think we're going to talk. We're going to work through this together, basically, as far as what topics people are doing. Okay. I'm imagining, well, I'll get to the calendar here, okay? Uh, I'll come back to class time. Calendar. There, there, are, there is the reality of the calendar, okay? This is why I create this slide, okay? Um, we are today, November 13th. That means we have two classes, 18th and 20th next week. Then we have the 25th, then Thanksgiving break. That's that line that you hit on the 26th, okay? Uh, then we've got two more classes, and our final exam is actually Wednesday... December 10th, okay, from 1 to 3, okay. That's when the final videos would be due for the final exam period, okay. Um, that means that we've only got five class meetings, so we need to be very efficient with our class meetings, yes, which means that you need to work outside of class on these things, okay. Um, I've already contacted IT about getting Max 7 installed on every machine, uh, and Ryan, our representative, should be working on that starting tomorrow. Uh, what I'm thinking about the rest of class, we can actually get it installed on the machines that you're sitting at uh, and start to look at some of the new features. And then I have an idea for an activity we might do together to kind of practice uh, using the, the new layout features, basically, because like the new object buttons in a different place and the palettes in a different place and you know so it, it's going to take some getting used to yeah uh, just out of curiosity for the project yeah um, does it necessarily have to be dealing with audio or could we possibly explore like using some of the video uh, features that it has um, I'm okay with you venturing into video I would prefer that it be some mechanism of like audio triggering video do you think that might be doable yeah. Okay. Um, tie it back to because uh, that right there is machine listening, right? Video reacting to audio is a machine listening task. So that even that's even better. It fits in with what we were supposed to be talking about anyway, right? So um, we can work through that basically. I think um, it, looking at this calendar, when do you think we need to have our topics nailed down? Next week. Best thing not next week. Okay. Yeah. So. Are you thinking like you need a topic idea by Tuesday and then we need to like for sure like this is my topic and don't mess with my topic because this is my topic on on twenty on the twentieth? 
Okay. So uh, hopefully you'll start to get some ideas uh, for the 18th and then the 20th. Go through those. I'm imagining that class time from here on out is going to look, and that's, that's what this slide here is supposed to be about. It's like, what are we doing with class time? It's going to be just a series of like progress reports from people. We'll go through the room and talk about where you are with this project, basically, and uh, even use this computer to show the class what you're working on. Okay, So it'll be more informal presentations, uh, but we'll do that um, where, I mean, everybody, so I guess the overall message is everybody should come into class, uh, each class meeting with something they want to show as far as where, how they're making progress toward their project, okay? Um, so that, that basically, that puts everybody on the hot seat every class now, okay? So every, if everybody's okay with that, okay? But I think that's going to be the most efficient uh, way to make progress is if you feel that that need to come in and show stuff and it speeds up the feedback cycle as well you'll be getting feedback from everybody including myself along the way okay um, what about video because I imagine some of you are stronger with video than others or is that a am I misinformed in that regard Depends. Okay. It's not too complicated. Okay. Okay. You've got Premiere. You've been looking for an excuse to use it. So there you go. Okay. Eric, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, iMovie would work just fine. I mean, you want something that you can stitch together different videos that you've captured, basically, is all you need. Um, although we intentionally did not put iMovie on these machines, uh, I think that was a call uh, because uh, they wanted in the video class. They didn't want people relying on iMovie as a, as a crutch in the video class. They want them actually learning the professional video okay, uh, software. Um, but I think... Uh, let's let's say that before Thanksgiving is for sorting out your project and what you're going to show. Uh, after Thanksgiving is definitely when we need to start thinking about video and nailing down the details about what these videos are going to look like. Okay, uh, and if some people need help, we need to maybe partner up at that point uh, to work through that, and, and maybe we can have editing partners so you can watch each other's videos and help each other's videos. Okay, help each other with uh, content that sort of thing, uh, and. Also, I mean, I, I don't know. For me, I'm a sound person, so sound is, is often the weakest part of a lot of video projects, so we want to make sure we work through that as well. Um, but that we've got the second and the fourth to do that, and then the final product is due on the 10th, okay? Uh, how does that sound, timeline-wise? It's a five-minute video, okay? Who can, uh, Colby just walked in, who can recap for Colby what we're doing, uh, wh how we're changing things up? Uh, you wrote it down? Okay. Well, can you, let, uh, let me confirm you've got it, so go ahead and tell him now. Okay. Well, no. Screen capture, talk over it. You could video. You could insert video of yourself. Yeah, but because there's video cameras, we can talk about that. Uh, that's what we're talking about in terms of the timeline. Okay, because I, I know that video is new area for a few, a handful of people in here. But we'll, those of us that are more experienced will help those of us that are less experienced. Okay. Uh, and Dylan, what, where are your video chops at? You did that video. Were you, you weren't the editor on that video last year. No. Okay. But you can be a resource, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we've talked about what we're doing with class time. We've talked about the timeline, okay? Uh, and again, this is going to be, uh, this is 
this is navigating without a map, basically. Okay, although we, I've, I've, I've sketched out some rough things, right? Because but we don't know exactly what the final result is going to be. Uh, but each do person doing a final five-minute video. Um, what we should do now? I'm going to stop the recording and let's install Max Seven on each machine where someone is sitting, and then maybe take the tour of new features. And I have an idea for an activity that we could do at the end, depending on how long that takes to get Max Seven set up. Okay.